guys welcome back to the channel um today we're going to jump back into where we left off in red dead and see how we got on um i've just gotten back from work so if i seem a little um you know worn out that's that's probably why um i've got my american museum and natural history mug here filled with coffee so we should be able to get in um you might also notice that the background looks a little different and that's because i've uh i've purchased a new desk that's a little larger and i've changed changed sides so Let's jump in and keep playing. Um, if you watched the last video, you would have seen that I was up against some really weird game-breaking glitches that included sort of zombies without heads and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to go in and see what the hell is going on. Where the hell? Oh, fuck. I'm all the way back here. Okay. We can, we can fast travel, though. So let's... I don't know if we can do that to... Armadilla. Um, I was trying to trying to get the the hordes out of Armadillo last time I was playing, so we'll return there and see what we can do. Um, it didn't appear to be working, and I don't know whether that was uh, a glitch or not, but I'm pretty sure it was. Pretty sure that's that was what was going on. So give me so more sound. a lot of dead dogs here. Oh, big boy. Nice. Bye. Ah, fuck. to some safe so I think I've got to give some ammo to the guy up here and then I'll clear out the town well I'll, I'll start clearing the town out but at least everyone has a head now which is uh, a little bit more than what was happening in the last playthrough again I'm, I've never seen that glitch before so I don't know whether it was something that I had done but Let's have a chat at this point. Oh, I'm on fire. That's always good. Okay, stop being on fire. So. Headshot. I think I can give this guy some ammo. We've got repeater ammo for him. Sit down, big boy. Kill the remaining. Oh, jeez, there's a lot of guys down there. <laughs> Lining that shot up from a distance didn't help. This brave dude down there just giving us a bit of a hand. Oop. Get some. Oh. <laughs> Out of ammo. So it was, uh, there must be a lot of ammo down there. So let's. Uh, not a huge amount left. Let's get the rest from the dead. I actually figured out why I've got a golden gun. Supposedly there was a, a, 
patch, I think last year, that gave every everyone else that continued to play the game the, the golden weapons, which are sort of like pre-order bonuses. You are real weird looking dude. Sorry. Not really that sorry. Give me your... Give me some bullets. dead guys here. But not a lot of ammo. You wanna... I think she wants to dance. Sorry, lady. <laughs> nice. Victory hop. Town has been saved. Hey, Mister. Hey, Park. You seen a couple deputies nearby? Marshals, boys. Jonah and Eli. Are they Jews, Mister? They sound like Jews. Jesus Christ. Why? This whole thing is nothing but a Jewish plot. You do know that, don't you? Oh, I find that highly unlikely, amigo. Well, I don't like Jews. Or colored folk, or natives. Now that you mention it, well, or anyone. You're a nice, kind-hearted man to meet in a time of trouble. <laughs> kind does not come into it. Why? What are you talking about? Why? I bet you like Catholics. I can't <laughs> stand them neither. Nor women. Fabians, socialists, homosexuals, Asians, or British. Between them, they've ruined this country. Ruined it. Everyone's it ruined the country. country now people are eating each other. It was all the fault of the Jewish, British, Catholic, homosexual elite and their ideas. Well, I for one won't stand for it. Have you ever met a Jewish person? <laughs> uh, thankfully not. Or a British, Catholic, homosexual? Not in my store. <laughs> oh, I, I get it. I see you acting clever. Well, let me tell you this. The Jews killed Lincoln. That's why there is a triangle on the money. And they run Europe like one of them Arabian harems. Now they've sent this here plague to... This actually reminds me of a lot of guys I've met. A lot of people I've met. You, sir, are truly a remarkable fella. Thank you kindly. I must say, it's a rare pleasure to meet someone with such a grasp on human history. You take care of yourself. I'd hate to see you get savaged by someone and watch the life force drain from your hate-filled body. Uh, hey, hold on there. Why don't you join me in my fight, sir? It's not too late. I fear it is for me. Then I will fight them alone. All of them. America is the land of the free. And that means free to people like me, Herb Bird. Everybody knows someone like this. I think that's what makes it so funny. There we go. <laughs> John's loving that shit. Sorry, zombies. You did a good job. You did a good thing. See if I can uh, hit him in the head as well. Bang, 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 bang. You're dead. Oh, some moonshine. Ammo. What is over there? What's the green? Don't understand what the green means. Ah. Still looking for those dudes. Delicious. Hello, boys. 
Marshal said you need some help. <laughs> Guess you got other plans. Seriously, enjoy your meal, no problem. <laughs> Easy now, gentlemen. Remember all the fun times we had? Sorry, Jenna. Eli. I guess you two did it. I really love the way that those dudes fall over. Sort of like they're protecting themselves. Let's go. Speak to the marshal. Run, 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 run. No, wrong. I'm in the wrong side of town. Alright, keep. Nobody left. Ever dead. Hello, John. Hello, Marshal. Sub Marshal. So, you find the boys? I found them. I understand. Tell them it was fast for them. It was fast. And they died with their bellies full. Well, <laughs> There's Jonah's gun. Here, you keep it. After all, you earned it. Thank you. <sighs> Take care of yourself, John. You too, Marshal. Dinner for two completed. So, what is in this town? Is there any loot? Not only there is, but it doesn't look like there's any left. I may have already picked it up. Hmm. Let's head. What's next? Rio Bravo, I guess. Where my whole sat. Do 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 do. You can see that after you clear out an area, it sort of goes uh, the uh, undead look to the game sort of diminishes a little bit. Oh, turn right here. A lot of zombies around, but I don't look forward to the uh, zombie coyotes. Well, not coyotes, cougars. There used to be cougars all around this place. So I don't know what we're going to meet. But I'm listening out to sort of the, the growl, the telltale growl. It is. Hey, someone's out there. He ain't one of them. Open the gate. Got it, mister. West Dickens. Nature confounds us, but science saves us. That's the truth, sir. That's the truth. 
Quest Dickens patented tonic. The only 100% original, 200% guaranteed cure against the undead stalking this earth. It not only brings health and fitness to the sick and needy, it repels the undead and saves souls. Why, it's a natural Everyone knows he's talking shit. And it's available now, here, at the low, low price of only 100 solid gold coins. That sounds expensive, but what price eternal damnation? <laughs> you, sir, you look healthy. Would you like to give it a try? Me, sir? Yes, sir. Would you care to demonstrate <laughs> the undead defeating possibilities Snake oil. of this patented elixir? No, sir, I would not. What I would like is for you to stop peddling this nonsense right now. 100 gold coins? Well, what price would you pay for survival? <laughs> you tell me, Mr. West Dickens. You tell me. Well, since you put it that way, um, why don't all you chaps all take one for free now? And uh, if you like it, when you like it, you'll know where to find me. Uh, you won't find any undead around me. <laughs> Take it, enjoy. <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. <laughs> They've lost their families. They've lost everything. Well, that's not my fault. I'm just trying to make an honest living here. No, you're not. Well, uh, okay. But can I help it if demand is high? High? I'm offering the people hope, John. That's a precious commodity. The tonic really works. <laughs> These poor, awful undead creatures can't stand it. <laughs> Come here, take a look. Yep, definitely can't stand it. <laughs> We've got some of the explodey guys as well. Nice. Yep. Save that. Save that dude's life. <laughs> uh, well, it wasn't quite what I expected. Stuff is like catnip to those bastards. Uh, well, I, I I need more desert sage and uh, violet snowdrop, and then I know I can cure this foul plague. Okay. Back to doing your dirty work, am I? Now, don't be like that. Uh, don't you remember the good times? Please? I'm an old man! <laughs> All right. Here. Take it. Maybe you can use it to attract some of them. <sighs> okay. I'll see what I can do. And thanks. I'm sure this will come in real handy in case I want to meet some new and interesting friends. <laughs> Oh great, now I've got to go f build some bait. Oh, I got some ammo. Nice. Uh, ladders. Ladders are for suckers. Let's see where we're going next. Uh, save soon. Unknown, unknown, unknown. Farming ranch is still under attack. I guess we're heading... Maybe we'll head over here, but I'm gonna... We might, if I can get back in, we might see if we can fast travel closer. Let's see what we want to do for, get over the wall. It's 
a room upstairs, downstairs. Pick the lock. Hello. Fast travel. So if I go to it's that thieves landing, right? Looks like there's some ammo up here as well. Oh, that's how we open it. Open gate. Full of zombies. We might go save uh, McFarlane Ranch before we leave. Uh, before we leave the area. Do, do, do. Oh shit. Sorry, dude. Let's go. Almost there. Come on, horse. Vampire bat. Not even close. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Let's try to give this lady some ammo. Shot it right in the arm, dude. That's a great shot. Sorry, zombie. And me too, lady without any clothes on. Oh, shit. We've got no head. Let's have a chat with this bloke. Give him some munitions. Sir. Uh, 
Just the remaining undead. Perfect. Ooh. Flaming guy. Sorry, brother. Ah. Run, John. Zombie. What? Bah. Some ammunition. Fireball. It sounds like fun. Talk to Bonnie in just a second. That was a failure. Cool. Let me see what Bonnie wants. <laughs> nice to see you too, Miss McFarland. Oh, I thought you'd be dead. I heard things were bad in West Elizabeth. Sure. They're not great. <laughs> but it'll take more than an apocalypse to take me down. What are you? A demon or a cockroach? Both, I fear. How's your father? Fine and dandy. He should be coming out of that barn any moment now. Daddy! He being bit. What's he doing in the barn? <laughs> what was he doing in the barn? Just rounding up the undead and keeping them safe so the rest of us can go about our business. He's a real man. He's probably playing around with them. Daddy, he's don't dead. Me. It's because he's dead, Bonnie. How long has he been in there? Not long. Only since yesterday. Yesterday? Better go have a look for him. Would you, John? You are kind. Call out to me if you find anything. I will do. So, guys, we'll leave it there for this episode. Um, the next one, I'm just going to go in and we'll see what's going on with Drew find out what's happened um yeah uh keep keep watching uh give us a thumbs up if you uh if you enjoyed what we've done so far um let me know if there's anything you think i should change or if you have any issues with anything um yeah but keep watching um we'll be back shortly